I think we need to realize just how insane a person goes when they can't see their kids, when they're going through a divorce, when they have their kids being threatened to be taken away from them, when they're falsely accused of things and both sides are just going crazy. And usually the first to make a false claim is the one that puts the most pressure on somebody. <clears throat> and none of this is good. And and I'm saying this because we we have men going through these, these high stress, high conflict divorce and custody battles and we give them information like, oh, you should just get over it or or know that it's gonna pass and these things. And, and this is one of the most belittling things for a guy to hear. <clears throat> You're too angry. You're toxic. You need to calm down. You need to get over it. You need to join a meditation class. You need to do all this sort of stuff. And he may be doing all of these things to the best of his ability, but <clears throat> here's the thing. You take away a guy's family. You take away a guy's uh, infrastructure. He's home alone. He's living out of a car. He's living out of a hotel. He can't see his kids. Uh, oftentimes in this situation, the other party, in this case, the mother is all empowered because they have something to do and they have purpose and they're fighting for their children. And you take that away from somebody and it disenfranchises them. And then you put on top of that a, a whole host of friends and advice online saying just to get over it and that it's going to work out. I don't want to listen to you. In other words, this is what it's saying. I don't want to listen to you. I don't want to hear you. I just want to make myself feel good that I'm giving you the right advice and I helped you when you didn't. When somebody needs compassion, when somebody needs empathy, when somebody needs you know somebody to understand, and you're basically saying, I understand, but you need to do this. And if you don't do it, you're screwed, even if my advice has no experience in what you're going through, or I experienced it 10 years ago, and I don't want to have time for this. Man, that is a lonely place for men to be in. And it then puts men in this angry and frustrated place where they have to seek online for false answers, like what the men's rights movement is, what the, the red pill is, what this fake alpha thing is. Look, I'm going to tell you right now, if your dad going through this, and from what I've seen being one of the few people in the world who will take men from zero, you just lost your kids or are not able to see them, all the way to the end of the two-year process, all the way to the end where you get to see them, or we can't fix it and you can't see them, and everything in between. Let me tell you what that man who did one of the strongest things I've ever seen a man do, what, what he did, what he was like. Man, he felt weak. He felt powerless. He felt impotent. He felt like he was dying. He felt like he lost the greatest thing in his life. He confronted every single weakness that he saw and then worked to strength towards that, worked to be able to go, okay, I can do this, worked to handle the anger and the rage of what you need to go hard and fight in your legal case and do whatever you can, but then not step over the line and do the same thing and support the same system of false claims, BS, whatever crap there is. This is, this is what I see men go through, and that is strength. And that strength does not look like the icon of the guy that does steroids or that has the smartest choice or that did the alpha thing. And all those people promoting that message, especially who talk about divorce and custody, have actually never, never, think about this, think about every single one of those influencers, every single one of those types, has never helped a guy outside of a phone call that just said, hey man, I'll give you some advice. You feel good after this phone call. Here's the game plan. Do it. Bye. Has never helped a man walk through that. Has never walked with a man through that hard, hard process. That is disturbing. Why would you listen to those people? Why would you ever listen to those people? And so these hardships of male pain, which it's not just divorce and custody with me. I work with guys daily, 24 seven on addiction, on PTSD, on dating, on sex, on issues around sex, on abuse, on all these things that everybody has all this great advice towards and what you're supposed to do and healing trauma that comes from zero experience, that comes from stats that they read and empty promises that just create a more angry, pissed off, frustrated man that relies on the reaction to that, which is some hyper male fantasy, you know, of, of what a man is supposed to be like. That's what we've done to masculinity. That's what we've done to men. And it's, it is horrible. In any case, guys, if you like this message, if you like what I'm doing, check out what I do. And you can find that in the direct me link that is either in my bio underneath this video or what, wherever it is. 
can sign up for a phone consult where I'll give you an inventory to take before it. It'll be Man, it's one of the most beautiful things that we can do as guys. You can look at my groups, all that sort of different stuff. There is a solution. I wish that there were more solutions other than me and the few other people helping. Uh, go to it. Find it. And live a good life. Find your power. Never be ashamed to be a man. But man, that's a tough road. And I get it. All right. Thanks for watching. Stay strong.